that is a very different situation from the one prevailing today in Qadiyan and it has no relationship whatsoever to my paying a short visit to Qadiyan. <coughs> Moreover, that visit will not be a permanent visit at all. So, when you elaborate it further, something should happen somewhere else. Now, instead of wishing it to be something which uh, uh, her, which would hurt every Ahmadi who belongs also to Pakistan, let's not further elaborate it. Let's uh, pray to Allah and uh, I mean, why to broach on a subject which if you open it more and discuss it more clearly in public will become very delicate, more delicate to handle and sometimes it may be handled clumsily and result in further problems. So the prudence will ha would have it that we don't discuss it any further, please. Thank you. <coughs> Surah Al-Araf Yes. Verses 36 and 37, Chapter 7, right. English translation by Malik Ulam Farid Sahib, right. page, uh, the book page is 331. Right. Uh, should I recite the surah or the... Uh, the First recite the text, then, then read the translation, please. <coughs> Auzu Billah. Auzu Billah, Ibn Ash-Shaytu rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya Bani Adama Yatiyan Nakum Rusulun Minkum Yakusuna Alekum Ayati Faminat Taka Faminat Taka Vaslaha Faminat Taka Manit Taka Minat Nain Manit Taka Faminat Taka Manit Taka Yes Vaslaha Falaha Alehim Alehim Balahum Yahzanun Vallazina Kazabu Be Ayatina Vastak Baru Anha Aulaika Ulaika Ulaika Ashabun Nare Humfiha Khalidun Right <coughs> O children of Adam, if messengers come to you from among yourselves, relating, uh, rehearsing my signs unto you, you then who so shall fear God and do good deeds on them, shall come no fear, nor shall they grieve. But those who reject our signs and turn away from them with disdain, these are the inmates of fire. They shall abide therein. Would Hazur most kindly advise us regarding the following matters? As I understand that the belief of Jamaat Ahmadiyya regarding this matter is that according to the sayings of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a definite promise of one subordinate Prophet was given in the Hadith of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam describing him as a Prophet of God the time and the other details of his advent my request is in the light of the above verses of the Holy Quran where the word messengers Rusulun is used as during the Majlis Irfan dated 21st of September 1991 Hazur informed us that the Khulafas of the future by the grace of Allah will be pious and on the right path for the next 1000 years. Therefore, should we presume that there is still possibility of the coming of a prophet during that period? Secondly, when a new subordinate prophet will appear, will it be necessary for him to believe in the subordinate prophethood of the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, like the Ahmadiyya belief? Thirdly, as I understand, the Khilafat-e-Ahmadiyya 
is still the end of the, this world, what will be the relation of the future subordinate prophet with the Ahmadiyya Khalifa of the time? <laughs> Interesting, eh? No, let's return to the square one. Start your question one after the other. I mean, of course, the same question, but start with the first part first, please. <coughs> yes, sir. My, my request is in the no, no, don't read the formalities, yes. please. Huh? In the above verse yes, the, of the Holy Quran, where the word messengers, Rusulun, is used. As during the Majlis e No, no, don't build up the theme, just tell me what you want to ask. Yes. That little part yes. which becomes a question. The part is uh, will the be pious and on the right path of the next one thousand years, therefore For should the we presume uh, so yes, from there. Uh, that so presume, there presume. is still possibility of the coming of a prophet during that period. You see, as long as this verse of the Holy Quran remains in the Holy Quran and it will continue to remain in the Holy Quran till the end of the time, the possibility remains open. None on earth can stop that possibility. That possibility remained open for 1300 years. And after waiting of 1300 years, one person appeared who was given the title of Prophet. Yes. Yes, yes. So, maybe after another 13 or 1400 years ago, or love in future, something may happen. What about uh, earlier, Hazur? <laughs> if, I say the possibility remains open. But if God considers it to be yes. an earlier necessity, yes. then who can stop his hands? Yes. Yes. Can one? No. 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 <laughs> Would you like it to have rather earlier than later? Uh, no, it is up to God to decide. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> then if it is up to God, let him decide. Yes. Yes. Why should we presume what he may decide? Yes. yes. I mean, this is not for us to do that. No. Okay, thank you. Secondly, Yes. When a new subordinate prophet will appear, we don't know whether he will appear or not. <laughs> Who knows? When, if, if suppose, if. If, yes, if if a new subordinate course, right. prophet will appear, will it be necessary for him to believe in the how subordinate can he be prophet? Of course, <laughs> I mean, how could you frame this question? It, the fundamental principle of faith, as laid down in the Holy Quran, is. So if Hazrat Nusim is a prophet of God, yes. then how could he be a righteous person? No. If he rejects him, not to mention his being a prophet. So how could you even think of such a question? <coughs> now answer me this question first. No, no, no. Uh, I mean... Uh, you better swallow it. No, no, no. No, 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 Azur, this is... No, no, you are not going to solve it, all right. No, I... I Throw it away then. No, I give my explanation, Azur. Huh? I give an explanation why I framed this one. I, I, I can just uh, elaborate on this point. No, no, I don't want you to, because this is a question which is totally rejectable, unthinkable, unentertainable. If there is a prophet of God, be he an independent or subordinate prophet, whatever his position, it's not, I'm not discussing just the same out. No person can be a prophet of God in the world, rejecting a single prophet of God. Yes, yes. Agree? Yes, sir. After Islam, if he rejects even one single prophet, he will no longer be a Muslim. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. So, if he is no longer a Muslim, how can he be made into a subordinate prophet of Muhammad Rasulullah? But if Hazur allow me one sentence only. That's all right, one sentence please. Uh, Hazur has said that if somebody rejects a prophet of God, he is no more a Muslim. No. But uh, we accept... According to the strict definition of the Holy Quran. Yes, Hazur. But we accept... He is not a true believer. 
Uh, the word yes. Muslim yes, yes. was perhaps yes. wrong. Yes, yes. He is not a true believer. Yes, yes. Right, okay. Yes, Muslim. Uh, uh,